You are listening to KSD Podcast. This is a short, crisp, concise, exam-oriented, edited editorial for civil services aspirants. In this podcast, we are going to talk about OPEC plus slashing oil production. Source for the content is Raghu Malhotra's article for the Indian Express. The grouping of the world's largest oil-producing countries, the organization of the petroleum exporting countries, OPEC, and its allies, together known as OPEC Plus, decided to cut oil production by 2 million barrels per day, that is PPD. This is the largest cut since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. Brent crude, the international benchmark, was up 28% or 0.3% at $92.08 a barrel after the cut was announced. Now, what is OPEC Plus? established in 1960 by founding members Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia and Venezuela. OPEC has since expanded and now has 13 member states. With the addition of another 11 allied major oil-producing countries that include Russia, the grouping is known as OPEC+. The objective of the organization is to coordinate and unify the petroleum policies of its member countries and ensure the stabilization of oil markets in order to secure an efficient economic and regular supply of petroleum to consumers, a steady income to producers and a fair return on capital for those investing in the petroleum industry. Previously controlled by Western-dominated multinational oil companies known as the Seven Sisters, OPEC sought to give the oil-producing nations greater influence over the global petroleum market. They account for roughly 40% of the world's crude oil and 80% of the globe's oil reserves, according to estimates from 2018. They usually meet every month to determine how much oil the member states will produce. However, many allege that OPEC behaves like a cartel, determining the supply of oil and influencing its price in the world market. Now, why are they slashing production? Oil prices skyrocketed after Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February and have since begun to soften over the past few months before dropping sharply to under $90 in September due to fears of a recession in Europe and reduced demands from China because of its lockdown measures. Today's cut is the biggest of its kind since 2020 when OPEC plus members slashed outputs by 10 million BPD during the COVID-19. Reuters reported that today's cut is the biggest of its kind since 2020 when OPEC plus members slashed outputs by 10 million BPD during the COVID-19 pandemic. The reductions would boost prices and be extremely beneficial for the Middle Eastern member states to which Europe has turned for oil after levelling sanctions against Russia since it invaded Ukraine. OPEC Plus members are concerned that a faltering global economy would reduce the demand for oil and the cuts are seen as a way to protect profits. Increased oil prices, which first occurred during the invasion of Ukraine, have helped Saudi Arabia, one of the founding members of OPEC, become one of the world's fastest growing economies, according to the Wall Street Journal. The New York Times raised the possibility that Moscow might be influencing OPEC to make it more expensive for the West to extend energy sanctions on Russia. The New York Times raised the possibility that Moscow might be influencing OPEC to make it more expensive for the West to extend energy sanctions on Russia. Bhushan Bari, an executive director of S&P Global Commodity Insights, said, and I quote him here, to the extent that prices rise, it will make it that much more challenging for Europe to proceed with its sanction on Russian oil in December, unquote. Now, who is against this decision? Within the group, there are those that are opposed to such significant cuts in oil production. And according to the Wall Street Journal, a meeting of OPEC plus technocrats was cancelled because of disagreements that reportedly only a gathering of oil ministers could resolve. The United Arab Emirates and Kuwait in particular are said to be concerned that extended cuts would interfere with their plans to increase oil output capacity. The move is likely to be highly detrimental to the US, which has repeatedly asked the organization to increase oil production. President Joe Biden had traveled to Saudi Arabia in July, a country he had pledged to make into a pariah for its alleged role in the assassination of the Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi, partly to request more oil. The modest increase of 100,000 BPD in August has since been replaced by attempts to reduce 
production by Saudi Arabia. Slashes in reduction and subsequently increased oil prices can be particularly dangerous to Biden, who is trying to reduce inflation rates before the midterm elections in November. Over the past few days, Biden administration's senior officials have been lobbying their counterparts in Kuwait, Saudi Arabia and the UAE to vote against reducing oil production. That's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KSJ India courses and to crack the IS exam, visit ksjindia.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksjindia.com. Thanks for listening.